This is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome Weather Adventures, and today I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff I got with my birthday money today. So, as you know, last week I got a few things for my birthday money, and this is the rest of it I got with my birthday money. And as you can see, I've got a lot of items here, so let's get on to it. It's no time. And start with the first one. Wow, which are some Thomas Minis from seasons 24 and 24. Now, yes, I do know of season 25 of minis, yet I haven't found it yet. I'm going to keep looking for it, but I haven't yet found it. So let's begin with this bag number 581. Dragon Rose. Now, this is a really cool one. So not only does the red match her, since she's now, uh, now painted red, but her face is really cool. And I like the armour on her, like the she like the egg, like a diamond dragon's egg. And then the her, Yeah, this is a really cool mini. Really like her. Yep. Let's move on to the next one. It's 528. So quickly open And ooh! Got breakfast tomorrow. And it's, a, and it's an English, a full English breakfast. And this is a really nice looking mini. I like the face expression on him with his tongue sticking out. Then, and I like the mouth panel. And I, and I like the, I have the seafood bits on him. This is a really nice mini. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Put it near him. And then the next one we got is this. It is the next one. Five mini. That's on season 24 this time. Been a while since I've done a few season 24 ones. So the pump and flip and ooh, it's a regular diesel, but it's the new 2021 mini diesel. And this is actually more detailed than I thought. And the details on him are really nice. I like the black on him. Yeah, the top details are really cool. His face is basic, but I like that. And the sides of the uh, yeah. And I think I've actually got the the one to afford so we can do a quick comparison. Okay. Yeah. So the roofs are different because there's spots on this on the new one and on this one. So now let's go on to this um, there is more detail on the windows here and the walls. And there is detail on the windows but not as much. And then the back and the other side. Yeah. I don't know which one of these diesels I prefer though. Oh, if you know which diesel you prefer out of these two, let me know in the comments below. But but I do like that diesel more than I thought. <laughs> Alright, so we'll move on to the the cars. Now these two are uh, two cars down here. I got them on Saturday but I was gonna save them. For for, a, for my when I got a lot of stuff for my birthday money, so here they are. So we'll start with this one, which is it's Rocket Racing Cruise, and I really like this the look of this one. So here's the front side, other side, top, bottom, and that's back. Shows you the other cars. I've got, I've got my Queen and Jackson Storm, but I haven't got these two yet. But that might be an M one day. I will slide it them up. So 
so here it's crude and time model is it's really awesome i mean man look at this model i love the metallic blue on her her flames are a nice touch the blue ooh, and yellow match really well together i just really love this color and there's her little board thing Inga glass wall glass right through it yeah then yeah i really do like this model so here's the other rocket race i got on saturday which is lightning mcqueen with the with the this with the glass wall so here's the front side other side top bottom and back And these two cars are the only two things that I got on Saturday. The rest I all got today. So here's my queen, and he's up. And I'm not sure if I like him more than her, but this is still a good model. I do like the black, uh, yellow on his hood. His sides are really nice. I do like the flames at the back. The black thing on the top is cool. And the 95 on top is really well done. And let's see him blast the yeah. This is a good model. Alright, so now we're up to the next one. Um, we'll do the car I got today, which is this one. And it's the Easy Idle Racing Tractor. From the Easy Car Street. Anyway, Cruz imagined all the races as tractors. That was a really cool scene. Now, I don't know the name of Easy Idle Racer. So, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. And here's the front. So, other side. Bottom and back. And by the way, I'll move for the next again. So, let's take a look at the tract. This has been cool because I don't really have many tractors in my collection wow the packaging is good on this car but i think i remember the truck. man he was in there pretty good nice and strong i like that so here he is now i always like the tractor models mainly because of how simple they are Oh, and the red, and the and the next gen ones are not different because they've got the details of the next gen racing, like the easy idle ones. And I do like these spiky tires. Let's do some tracks. Yeah, let's put you back up, and you can race up to the side there. And now we'll come on to the push, Thomas push lines. And we'll start with the all engines go, Nia. Now, Nia was a nice one to find. I haven't got the regular push on Nia. But, but I might get it another day. So here's the front, side, other side, top, bottom, and back. Details on the shelf. Yeah. I'll keep you here. No, I'll stay you there for a moment, Nia. Let's bring these closer together as well. So we'll move on to the next 
X Personal. And we got Sandy the Rape Healer. And this one I was really hoping to get because, uh, uh, so like I said in my last video, even if I didn't like all anything to go, I would get Tana, Carly, and Sandy the Gardener as this person on. So here's the front side, other side, the top, bottom, and the back. And let's get out Sandy! Ah, so here's her shovel thing. It's a nice handy little thing too. I really like it. It's nice and simple and good for digging. And here's Sandy herself. Now this is a pretty nice model. The size really does suit her. Huh? And I like how it's kind of like a similar size to the one you get in the show. Oh, so that's nice. Now, one thing I do want to try is how it, how connectable it is to the other pushlong things. Its hook is a bit different. Let's see. Hey, it's a not bad fit. Let's go with me. Let's put her shovel back on for a minute. And then here's the last one. One of the customs I got, and it's Carly. Like I said, with Carly and Sandy, I was gonna get this model with Carly. And I don't know, and I know this might be a controversial opinion, but I prefer Carly as a train, and that and a normal standard train, mainly because I can use her more in my series, which I've actually got a good plan. And episode for her and Sam and Ian tells a show dog called Carly on the Rails. Elves work. And Carly's upgraded to work on the tracks. So that will probably be episode 8. Because I've already got 5, seven, 6 and 7 already planned. And here's the front. Side, other side. Top, bottom and back. And let's hope her... Carly up. There's two of these, so that's good. Cool. Um, and here's Carly. Oh, cool, the crane moves. And her model is actually pretty cool. It's a really, it's much bigger than I thought. Oh, from the images, but man, this is a big model. I mean, look, on pretty nearby, and not counting the crane arm, of course, but this model is huge. So let's see if she can lift up Sandy. Yeah, yeah, she can lift Sandy off the ground. Quite easy with these. Yeah, Sandy can leave the ground for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like that. So now let's move on to the DVDs. And as you can see, I've got six DVDs. So we'll start with the one at the top, which is the Mitchell's Lessons from the Machines. I've been wanting to get this DVD for a while now. I was gonna get it after Christmas, but I couldn't really find it on sale anywhere, so I got all my birthday money, and man, I know this ain't my favourite anime film, but I do see why a lot of people love this movie, and I'm, and I'm no exception, so here's the front, with Kate, A.T., Rick, Linda, Aaron, 
the Munchie Eric and Deborah bought 5,000. <coughs> this side, the other side, top, bottom, and the back. Uh, uh, the best animated movie of the year. And the bonus features are how a group of passionate weird animals make a the big animated movie, how to make sock rock puppets, how to make Katie face cupcakes, and Katie's cabinet of forgotten wonders. The last one on what the last two I am really looking forward to see what those two are about. So yeah, I'll probably check those out over the weekend. Let's cut this unsealed. So here it is. Oh, I was actually hoping for a pl I was actually thinking we'd get a plane disc. This is actually really cool. Technically, yes, it's a plane disc, but it's really detailed. And I love this disc. It's true art. That this is true art, actually. So, yeah, I'll put these on already showed you on that side. And uh, let's take a look at the next one, which is Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Things. Now, I bet many of you were wondering if I would get this one. Because if I was said in my video, in one of my videos before, if it gets a 6 or 10 or over, I'd get it on DVD. And I decided, why not? This is an alright This is a pretty good 7 out of 10 movie, even if I do think it's overrated. So here's the front, the Shang-Chi when Wu, Shang-Chi is the Exilient, Cap Cap Eddie, the, the side, the other side, top, bottom and the back. There are no bonus features, but uh, there is, where is the, the recycling one? Uh, you know, I think I should stop, men stop mentioning those. Because I've already mentioned them on all the the, the the other DVDs. Man, this one's going to be a tough one to open. And so here it is, open it up, and we get a nice crazy. I mean, I know Sony's not, no, I, I mean, I know that, uh, at this it doesn't mean anymore, but come on, did they actually put some detail on, on this disc? Really? Oh well. Let's move on to the next, next one, which is Teen Titan Go See Space Gen. Now, even though I did give this movie a 6 out of 10, I do have the other two Teen Titans Go from, so either way I I was going to get it, no matter what. Oh. Oh. But I wasn't actually expecting to get this one today. So here's the front. Oh, with the Nerf Lux, Beast Boy, Robin, Raven, Starfire and Cyborg. The side, the other side, top, bottom and back. And there are no bonus features on this one. Which aren't actually a surprise to me. I'll take this out of the cover. Cover quickly. So I can unwrap um, it. And hey, it's got to be the easiest one out of the one so far after the wrap. Alright, so open it up. And, and just a plain disc. Although I do think the material. 
Even those who all the cases different. Because as you can see, not many DVDs have these. No, I'm gonna try. F I find cases like these with details like those, cause th those would be really cool cases to have. Anyway, I'll just put that one over there. Yeah, it's definitely a different feel than the other one. So let's move on to the next DVD now, and we got Ron's Gone Wrong. And I'm like Mr. Smith's Slim Hughes. I've been wanting to get this one for a while now, and I'm glad I got it now. So here's the front with Barney, Barney, Ron, Savannah, no, Rich, 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 his friend, and, and, the, and the other B-Bots. The side with Barney and Ron, the other side, the top, bottom, and back. And there are some bonus features, and a lot of shang chi E, there's the recycling thing, but I'm not going to mention that anymore, okay? Uh, wow, that must be the easiest one of the DVDs to unwrap so far. Wait, open it up. And we got a boring grey disc. Hold on, let me just put the, the slip cover on so I can this ace job quickly. Uh, now let's move on to the next one, which is Clifford the Big Red Dog. Oh, oh. I saw this movie last week called My Birthday, rented it from Sky Store, and it was a really good film. I did a review on it on Friday. Okay, so go check that out if you haven't already. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'll get this on DVD. So here's the front with Clifford for taking up most of the cover. The side, the other side, top, bottom, bottom and the back. Feel good, family fun. And bonus features are deleted scenes, eats the, the magic behind the movie and much more. And those are little shots for the movie. They, and I like this, I'm not, I'm not like this, these bits are nice and small, and then we got Big Clifford, so, and the characters, let's take it out, please, 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 so I can't unwrap it, yeah, that was tough, now that's what we're using, And we got a nice shiny thing. Hello! Now, I don't mind shiny this. Yeah, it's a plain and boring. But at least you can see your reflections in it. Shiny discs are okay. And here's the last thing I got, which is Spider Man No Way Home. And I am really happy to have this one. And because. I saw this movie view with my dad I in the cinema in December and I love this one. Went so much uh, I don't give it a nine in my lo in my review of it, but I feel like after re re watching this this movie I might be giving it a ten. And I don't know if I'd have it as the best movie of the year, but we'll just have to wait and see. So here's the front with Peter, Doctor Strange, MJ, Electro, Lizard, Sid, Green Goblin, and Doc Ock's arms. The side, the other side, top, bottom, and the back. And um, one thing I like this, about the Spider Man and MCU movies, they actually have bonus features. And the, and the two bonus features for this one are a spectacular spider journey with Tom Holland and graduation day. That must be a uh, that, that must be a uh, deleted scene. Hey. 
Alright, another toffee. interesting relationship they can do plain white discs like this it's for daddy and bees or like the leaf seed for bits for the bees they can put some really good art on them oh I haven't put the if it's a cover roll alright and alright so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Alright, and this is me, Sadie Goat. Bye!